Hey Simmers, what's up? I am back with another tutorial that I'm going to do a voiceover for this one and I'm going to show you how to make a fishing pond with a functional bridge and you can do this with just base game. You don't need any packs for it. So let's get started. As always, I recommend using the Sims 3 camera. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up your cheat bar with Control Shift C or for some people Control Shift C and the Windows key. And then you're going to enter your cheats, which are bb.moveobjects, bb.showhiddenobjects, and bb.showliveeditobjects. And then on the right side of the bottom of the screen, you're going to have a filter option, and you're going to want to filter for base game. Now, because a lot of the show live edit objects do not have a name other than debug, we're going to search for the closest thing to the object we want. So in this case, you're going to type lipstick into your search bar. Then you're going to scroll down one row from the lipstick and you're going to see the bridge that I'm using in this tutorial. So now you want to place your bridge where you would want it to be over your pond. And then you're going to use the custom pool tool and draw a pond around the bridge. Of course, leaving it narrower in the middle section where the bridge would be. If you want to change the shape of the pond or remove an area, just hold control while retracing the pool area that you want to remove. Here I'm giving the pool the green trim so it sort of blends in better to the surrounding area instead of that really uh, bold white trim. To make this bridge functional, I'm going to draw a one by one room with the room tool. Then I'm going to put this flat square piece on top of it. If it's easier for you to place it with the grid on, just hit the G key and have the grid on. Now just pick up the room you made and sell it. Then you can see this platform, you can just move up and down freely. So now I'm going to use the arrows to move the platform and drag it over to where the bridge is going to be. Now I'm going to use the height adjustment arrow in the center to lower the platform. I want my bridge to be a little bit lower, but you can choose whatever height you'd like for your bridge. Next I am raising the bridge up with the 9 key and I want the platform to be above the bridge. So I do not want the top of the bridge tiles to show through the platform. I want the platform on top of it. And then I'm going to shorten the length of this bridge and add some stairs. And here I'm adding wallpaper and floor tiles. Choose whichever ones you think would fit your pond best. Now I'm going to add some fence posts to the sides of the bridge to make it look a little bit better. So just type world fence with posts into your search bar. Grab four of them and size them up twice. Then you're going to hit page down and go down to the bottom level, basement level. Turn the grid on with G so you can place these posts and you're going to want to raise them up with nine. So I'm just going to place all four of these posts. I'm going to use the other posts I already placed for the height level and continue to raise the rest up and place them for the bridge posts. Now I just added tiles onto my bridge and you can pick whatever tiles you'd like. Now we're going to type the first unicorn into the search bar to get us to the debug rocks. So here we have in the show live edit objects, we have a whole bunch more rocks that you can choose from to decorate and landscape with. So I'm just going to alternate with a couple of these different rocks and put them in different places around the edge edges of my pond. I'm going to start them from the bottom of the pool, some of them, and then I'm going to raise them up with the nine key, alternating the heights so they look a little bit more natural in the setting.
So now I'm going to place this base game grass all over and I'm just going to hold shift and alt at the same time while I'm placing it and then it's just going to keep duplicating it and then I'm able to rotate it with my mouse as I'm holding alt so I can place it very quickly a whole bunch of it at one time. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing with this other plant called Hedera something or other. <laughs> the curved version, I'm just going to hold shift and alt and place a whole bunch of it at once. For the next segment of the video, I'm going to be placing some more show live edit objects that don't have a name as uh, landscaping decorative items. There's a whole bunch of them. These are just the ones I chose. You can look through the, the show live edit object debug menu and choose what you would like to landscape with along with, you know, regular game objects to make your pond look more pondy. So I'm just elevating all of these with the 9 key. I know for some of you, some people have problems with the 9 key and it just maybe shoots the camera to the corner of the screen or something like that and maybe you can hold control plus nine or shift plus nine you can try those and see if that works for you I'm going to do a little terrain painting around the pond and I like to use different um, terrain paints and different softnesses of the brush to like blend them together. I think this makes the terrain paint look more realistic. So you can add fish into a pond with the base game. You can type grass of the glade into the search bar and that's going to bring you to these debug fishing signs. There is one that has a name, it's like go fishing, go, gone fishing, go fish, something like that. But when I search for it by that name it always brings me to a jungle adventure fishing sign so I just thought this would be the easier way to get you there. If you don't really care for the fishing aspect and just want fish in your pond or you want additional fish in your pond and do want the fishing, you can take this sign and size it down to the smallest size and then you want to make sure it's at the same level as the pond, the top of the pond waters, and then you can hide it somewhere like in a plant or something and then it will generate fish. You do need to make sure that there is enough room in your pond because there is a like a distance gap from the sign to where the fish spawn so you don't want fish jumping through the grass.
And now if you want your sim to be able to fish, you're going to place another sign uh, on the outside of the pond, someplace which is accessible to your sim. Make sure you play test this by clicking on the sign and making sure that your sim can fish. I'm just going to add a few more finishing touches to my pond, uh, some lights and whatnot. You can add as many as those fishing signs as you want if you like want like crazy amounts of fish in your pond. Just make sure that you place them at the, the right distancing from the sign to where the fish spawn. I did make this pond with a waterfall, but the video was um, a little bit too long, so I had to cut that part out. If you do want me to do a tutorial on a waterfall, just let me know in the comments. And as you can see, everything in this works. You can walk across the bridge, you can sit on the bench on the bridge, you can go swimming, you can go fishing. So it's a nice little park. You could even make it like into a, a pet park also and bring your pets here. So you can make a really cool little pond. And that's all folks. Thanks for joining me and I will see you guys again soon.